There's a new report out there by ESPN's Brian Windhorst, that same fat fuck who pushed the uh, league to suspend Draymond Green for Game 5 of the NBA Finals. And some people feel like that uh, changed the trajectory of the Finals. But anyway, there's a report out there that uh, he put out there that says that LeBron James initially did not want to play for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, this is an excerpt from the uh, report. Quote, when James was a teenager, he started attending games at the arena, and he couldn't believe how bad the Cavs were, how empty the arena often was with his bright blue seats seeming like a neon sign of disinterest, when Horse wrote. During his senior year of high school, he went to several games, was given courtside seats, and visited the locker room. His thought was pretty clear after he watched that 17-win team with the lowest attendance in the league. They were awful, and he didn't want to be a part of it. Goes on to say uh, how James was a Chicago Bulls fan, grew up idolizing Michael Jordan. Uh, and of course, we know that LeBron James is, uh, is a secret Nick fan, uh, Nick fan, excuse me, Yankee fan. So he's pretty much a fanboy, you know, because back in them days, in the 90s, particularly the late 90s, the, the Yankees was running, they had a little dynasty, the Bulls had a dynasty, so therefore he's a fucking fanboy. But anyway, <laughs> this is interesting to me though because someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I could have sworn when James was, after he got drafted, right, going into his first season's rookie year, I could have sworn that I remember LeBron James saying things like uh, to the media, he wanted to take on the challenge of changing the face of the franchise making a winning organization, how Cleveland was looking forward to him, uh, you know, uh, they had been losing for so long, yada, yada, yada. So, I mean, I guess he has to say what he has to say if he gets drafted by them, but, you know, this seems sort of phony now if that's the case. Uh, but you know what? That team was awful, though, man, because my memory showed me correct. The only thing I remember... You know, like, a, a high point of that season, if memory serves me correct, is Ricky Davis dunking on, on Steve Nash and going, God damn! <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I'm going to be fucking dunked on Steve Nash with, like, some type of fast break, uh, fast break scoring opportunity. If Steve Nash tried to take a charge, if Ricky Davis just, just jumped over him, dunked on his ass, it was like, I remember he came down and one of his teammates was in the face, he said, God damn! <laughs> Ricky Davis, where the fuck is he at now, man? Fucking probably running a car wash somewhere or some shit. Um, who else was on that fucking team, man? Carlos Boozer. Uh, I think I think Smush Parker was on that team, and you know everywhere Smush Parker was, that team sucked. And it was that guy they did. I think it was that dude that they drafted before LeBron. Jawan. Jawan Wagner? Was that his name? That sounds right. I think he was a huge bust. I always thought that those Cleveland drafts were rigged anyway. You know, a lot of those years where Cleveland was, was I think that the Cleveland draft to get LeBron was rigged. I think the Cleveland draft a couple of years later was rigged. And I think the Cleveland draft to get Kyrie Irving was rigged. And that's just me. Like, the, the draft, I really do believe that's rigged. Like, no bullshit. But anyway, this story is interesting. Uh, LeBron James ultimately made the right decision to join that team. I think he made the wrong decision. As far as his career is concerned, to, to to leave Cleveland, well, no, 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 I take that back. I, I I take that back. I used to think he made the wrong decision, but in hindsight, I think he made the right decision for him to leave Cleveland. But I don't know if he should have joined Miami. The reason why I say I think he made the right decision is because was little was not really said about the decision is that Max Gilbert. 
shares most of the blame for LeBron leaving that team in 2010 because LeBron James didn't want to sign a max deal. Gilbert wanted him to sign a maximum deal, and that's what that's what the deal breaker was. But nobody looks at that. They always want to just blame LeBron for that. But it does look kind of fucked up joining a super team. Unless you're Kevin Durant, then you get, uh, then you get like a total pass by the by the by the uh, media. You know, the media just gave him a total pass for that shit. But LeBron James was villain number one. You know when he did it, and I think what Durant did was even worse. But it was just that's beating a, a dead horse, whatever. But tell me what you guys think.